Welcome back guys to Fire Emblem Echoes, where after being ambushed when trying to move Selica, Arm fights off the foes in his face so he can get some progress going yet again. But Forsyth can't get a kill either. You have to double up with him. The coach should have way more accuracy as it does. Forcing your way onto anything is ethical. Oops. That might be true. I've got some really big problems and I think someone's gonna die. Bad luck, friend. Basically. Scala's critical rate is like a 30 chance, so we can do it. Not even a problem. We've got multiple guys we can take care of from back from the back. It's what comes in afterwards. Well you can go to arm spot. That's quite handy. Arm just takes too much damage. Then he won't take any damage from these guys, the thing, but he has to kill it this go. I'm too far away from the archer. Of course, if I move you into range, the guy won't have much hit chance, but uh, I kind of want to move arm. And when I say kind of, I really want to move arm. I really super badly want to send Armin. 31. I've got so much to calculate here, it's ridiculous. Assuming... Oh, no, wait a second, there's my problem. Yeah, that's my problem. That's the bit I'm not calculating, is that Archer. Right. My battle strategies are changing quite a bit. Ha ha ha! This isn't going very well at all. Claire, I want to use you so bad. I mean, if you're in the tree, Arm's going to survive. It all depends if he can take this guy down in one go or not. Nope. So we've got... I mean, Cliff can do the job now, so that's no problem. Let's use Excalibur though, which means you'd have to get close range with someone. So we'd have to be like here, and then just nuke the guy to oblivion. Or we'd have to use fire. No, Excalibur is the one he had to, he'd have to use to do it. For some reason he can just, he can double with Excalibur, probably because of weight. The thing is, Clive can kill it as well, but then Clive's in range for... Let's see. This guy would do... put Clive to 9. And then... If the other guy's ganged up as well, then we're screwed. I can't move Claire in due to how things turn out with other people. So what might weirdly be best... No, can't even noss him. So you can move Clive into here, and then he's a lot safer from a lot of sources of damage. But he can still go down. So I'm putting one person or whatever at the risk right now. It's the be all and end of all these situations. 
Someone's gonna be at risk. Uh, it's, it's this. It's the second archer. Because what I want to do, obviously, is move Claire in to take one archer's hit. And take out one of those guys. It's not gonna happen. If you could move more, we'd be in such a good position. But we can only get him into one bush. Welcome to the channel, bad as Dom. <laughs> I'm very risk averse, yeah. It all depends on if. What do you mean? Don't forget you have physics, you'll be fine. No. It depends if every unit attacks one unit, then I will die. If it's not armed. That's what's happening with this situation. I mean, if I put 14 versus 8, so that's 6 damage. I'm pretty sure this guy nukes Cliff as well. <laughs> Thanks for the cheer. You're in your Deutsch glass, are you? Deutschen. I mean, basically comes down to this has to happen because he has to be in the trees. I feel as though I've reached a new plateau. I see the archer's range here, which is incredible. I can't kill him in one. Really, my main choice here is to just destroy this guy right in front of me. But to do that, I have to move up and use Excalibur right in his face. As soon as I take way, I take way too much damage from doing so. If I just had a little bit more speed, I'd be fine. Unless he runs away, of course, because he's lower than half HP. Which could be the key to this battle, to be honest. But I'm reckoning Cliff's going to crit now. Nope. I don't think he's going to stick around, let's put it that way. Then, but due to ranges of people... I have to move... You out of range. Granted, this archer over here can actually reach as well, by the way. Oh, no, he can. All the same. I don't mind him reaching, to be fair. If, if you're in the bush like that. It's not about physics or anything like that. Thank you. And then there's Silk left. So one thing I could do is move you into the bushes over here, because I know you're going to survive it. Let you take a hit. Even you could take a hit? From who? Oh yeah, this guy. So we cancel out this guy, so press that off. Oh, you could take a hit from archers. Man, like, loads of people can get a hit from archers. It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So many people can get a hit in so many different places. Ah! What a horrible of battles. Battles are getting well grindy now. now. This is what I expected, but you're going to dodge, aren't you? And I'm, I would love a cup of tea. I think my cup's downstairs. Oh, okay. Thank you. People have been lured to the successful directions, basically. You can double. We split up some of the damage with some later choices. Everyone's completely fine. And no one went for Lucas. Ah, so cautious, so cautious. 
Right, none of our archers can really affect anything yet again, as we know. So it's about just getting in here and uh, nuking the hell out of people. Which we may as well start off with, uh, well, Grey could do it. I mean, you could chase down that guy as a last resort. Can you actually get into attack anyone yet? No. And we've got so many options now to wipe up the crowd. I'm not really worried anymore. chase that guy after the fact. The one that's the only one that really worries me now is Mr. Archer. Times several. And to take out this guy here will require at least some form of melee. To be honest, it's going to probably be best to be in arm again. Oh my goodness, why does no one want to just kill someone outright in this game? Why does all my characters not really want to finish the job? Let's put it that way. All right, sure. Okay, I think that's the route I'm going for you. You can't be hit back from that. From there, nice. I think you should go with that attack first. Yes! Your training has paid off. Yes! Super yes! That opens up so many attack options, it's unreal! the path is easy. Yeah, you got to stab him between like the joints. You shouldn't really be stabbing the armor. It's between the joints that you want to go for. I understand what full armor fighting and how hard that would be. I do, honest. Alright, we can literally just walk in there with some people now and deal a lot of damage to faces. Which makes me so much happier. Any problem is I have to thunder that guy, don't I? Or arm him. One of the two. So if... No, we're fine. Time to Excalibur. Excalibur his life force away. Eh! bin, you actually did something. I'm not gonna put you in the bin. Let's go disarm this person. Ha 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 ha. Oh! Well, disarmed him of his life. We don't want a critical now! What? Previous round would have been great! I can tell I'm getting stronger. I'll take that. Nice boost there. Come on then, Forsyth. Finish this one off. And then we're done. Not gonna get that Celica battle going, am I? I'm a Forsyth to be reckoned with. Quippy, quippy, quip line. Quip, quip, quip. My gratitude to everyone. Better get our healer experience up. You're too kind. Do you want to hunt down that guy for me, Clive, rather than Claire? I mean, you gotta, you gotta really get out now. Go on, kill him. You know you want him. This guy can double you though, so don't get doubled. That'd be very stupid. If he did that roundy roundy and then missed, it'd be ridiculous. Stick him with the pointy end and win. 
I did finally. We got a silver purse. We shouldn't even that many coins. Well, our first attack by the reinforcements. And to be honest, it's so much easier to control the battle in previous Fire Emblems than it is this one. <laughs> Man, that was too easy. Of course, with Radiant Dawn with the uh, difficulty modes, I was supposed to be playing it on hard mode then. So much easier on that. It's because I want to get the experience on someone else. Well, armor's pushed up. Maybe this reinforcing unit here will push on to him. Do you know what? Do you know what? Let's make sure no more reinforcements come. Arm is just going to kill this group of three. He's had enough. Doesn't want these guys coming his way. Screw them. A moment, please, Alm. I have a fresh report from our scouts. Apparently, the enemy's main force has retreated west through the forest. But before we give chase, we should deal with Desai. It wouldn't be wise to pass him by while his fortress lies in reach. All right, that makes sense. But listen, Lucas, do you know anything about the Regalian general Fernand mentioned? Burkut, I believe it was? Lord Burkut, yes. I am no stranger to the rumors, at least. They say he is about your age. A talented young general of royal blood. It's no wonder Fernand is so smitten with him. Yeah. Does it really matter so much where you're born or who your father was? I beg your pardon. Oh, sorry. I was just... I don't mean to speak ill of nobles or anything. Well, I should hope not. Your own grandfather was a count, after all. Yeah, I know, but... Uh, enough of this talk. Om, um, beyond this forest lies a great army. You shouldn't trouble yourself with anything but the battles ahead. You're right, Clive. I apologize. <sighs> As I live and breathe, the deliverance. Well, this is simply delightful. Huh? Fernand? And who's this? My name is Burkut. I am nephew to His Majesty Emperor Rudolph. So here he is. Alm, was it? I must say, I was most impressed by the battle at Zofia Castle. I nearly mistook that motley band of rustics you were leading for an army. What are you doing here? Your main force has retreated. Lord Bakut longs for sport and wishes to test your might. I've gone too long without fighting and felt I needed a spot of practice. Now then, do try to make this little exercise worth my time. God, he's charging right at us. What's the matter, farm boy? Afraid you won't land a single blow? The name is Orm. Not Thorn Boy. Oh, my mistake. Mark on your left hand. Where did that come from? What do you care? Are you here to fight or not? No. It cannot be the brand. Not on one as unremarkable as you. It must be false. Just like its bearer. What? As, as it was said in chat. Oh, there's only three people who are reinforcements. Nothing bad can happen from this. And then, ah! The bad men! Oh my goodness, stats! It's like, only Arm can really fight him? Well, I guess Lucas can deal. He'll get doubled, but he won't take too much damage, I guess-ish. And he's gonna restore HP because he's got a blessed ring on. Oh yeah, yoy. Well, we've got useless and useless next to him, so I guess that's a good thing. And you can actually go up against him, which is nice. Right, let's do that thing that I thought I remembered I own now. Nope, I don't own it because it's on another group. Or, nah, no, I don't own it. Axel Splitting Wood, not ideal for battle. 
I was disappointed when in YouTube comments it was said, oh yeah, you know those, uh, yeah, you can't get them. There was no axe user. I'm like, what? No axe user? What are you doing to my game? Oh, I had a javelin, basically. Can you move extra spaces? No. Well, that might be abusable. Speed is nine. Too bad Clive can't deal with that, but uh, Claire can. Claire might be able to get in a kill before you know it, and then she can easily retreat. Essentially, then, I need to get um into that brush. I think would be the proper strategy for this. I mean, no one else can really do damage to arm. I can't double him anyway. Where's my healers? Yo! Ladies! What are you doing up there, you stupid... Right. I mean, yeah, they got Killer Cliff with them, and yeah, he could probably mess up. Oh, wait a second, what? Because Red's at five. He could probably mess up Baku. Speed of twelve. Armor's a speed of eleven. He's not going to get doubled, I don't think. Get, I bet that guy's got a crit chance on him as well. I need you kind of now up there, I guess? Oh my goodness. Ugh. Killer Cliff's there and all. Alright, Lucas can move into the trees, which might prove a useful lure. You two can stay there, that's fine. To be honest, everything else isn't bad in terms of setup. Ugh! If you'd have said something, I'd have literally timed you out or banned you, Julian. So you <laughs> don't, basically. Spoilers bad. Too much said around here, borders too much on spoilers. Well, pretty much is spoilers, for the most part. Nothing will stop me. Alright, that's my first move with a follow-up by Clive. Not to be mean or anything, but uh Allow me. It really has been. Just say the word. Get into the bushes! Where can this guy go to? I say get into the bushes. Just leave it to me. Oh, you... Much regrets! She can't get killed by him. But still. I'm gonna put Cliff there if I realise Faye couldn't do it. Time for you to make a little distance, huh? And put yourself into a ridiculous battle. <laughs> Stand back. Come at me, fools. I'll have everyone stand on the outer edge, ready to go. This sucks because... Oh, this is stupid. Why are you doing this? I'm so pathetic, I hide into a bush for an easy battle. Alright, this is what we were worried about. Yeah. 
one for them. I'm so hoping you'd nos him. Nice dodges. Alright, well that's Fernand dealt with. We need to figure out if we can deal with Bakut in one go. I think we can. That's game. <sighs> Relax. Show's over. We're moving on. Right. Do you want to show us more of your Excalibur power, sir? Now you die. Give it up. <laughs> well, that was easy. Still have much to learn. Well, the enemy AI worked as I thought it might, so uh, I lured. It worked perfectly. Oh, poor Bakut! The lightning came from the sky! <laughs> hey, Python! Do you want to really add insult to injury and get the kill? That'd be nice. But I also... <sighs> of course I can't get any. I mean, we got archers here. Could probably pick up some stuff. Probably need to. Python, I'm going to give you a chance, sir. Can you finish Bakut? That'd be a lols. I better finish off the other guys first, mind you. Oh, wait a second. He's dead. I forgot about that. He dead. Yeah, thanks. He dead. I think Python needs to get at least like one attack on. <laughs> Python killing Bakut. <laughs> That's silly. Clive killing Fernand would just be lols as well. I can't get you to do anything, sir. I could try to warp you closer, actually. Ah, uh, just go on, Python. What was? What's the wind condition? Go on, Clive. Kill this guy. We know Arms got it anyway. I just find it funny to go in this way. To be fair, Claire can finish up if, if he's not good enough. Puffin and. Careless, but next time will be different. No, I, I hope not. You're pretty rubbish, to be honest. <laughs> You're pretty rubbish. Python, go! Really insult Bakut. Go on, please. You leveled up, though. This stuff's easy once you learn to understand your foes. I needed lots of things for side quests, but it depends what uh, side of the bracket they're on in some senses. I mean, arms stats are already fairly high level 11. Let's keep going out with archers. Tell me it sucks. All my archers suck. Well, that was horrible for a split second and then it was great. I guess that kind of thing happens. <laughs> we really took it to him. There's a little bit of insult to injury there as well. A little bit. I'm not quite sure how we just pulled that off. There were only three of them. How did they give us so much trouble? Raquel may be stronger than I first believed. What if this is a mistake? Did you say something, Clive? It was nothing. Come, we must plan our siege of Desai's fortress. An ally of ours is being held there, and we must rescue her. You're talking about Matilda, right? I heard what happened. She's special to you, isn't she? She is. We promised to share a future together. And because of that promise, she has suffered for far too long. It relieves me to know she will soon be free of this burden. I'm glad to hear it. 
And you know I'll do everything I can to help. Thank you, Alm. Yeah, that was zero damage, wasn't it? Just due to a little moment of RNG, we completely walk over everything. And then people go, Oh, it was so hard! Maybe this was a mistake! Oh, just three people caused us so much trouble! No, we, we just destroyed them. This time. Right then, um, it's time for you to visit a village. Oh, ah, oh, enemy paladin can pee off. Ha <laughs> What is it good for? Right, it's a ten unit army yet again. Hopefully not of all mages. I gotta attack them next time. I, I understand now that I've gotta attack them. So arms reached the village, able to now check out some more stuff. Should we just do it anyway and then move on with Selica like we were supposed to do? Right then, women, Claire and Lucas, how are you doing today? You know, I have an elder brother, but I would not say we are close. We don't share the same mother for one. As the elder, he will succeed my father and inherit the family estate. Yet still he sees me as a rival. As such, when word rose of the deliverance, my brother was overjoyed. He ordered me to leave home and enlist at once. In truth, it was a cunning plan. If to say won, he could simply feign ignorance. But if the deliverance won, he could name himself as its benefactor. Oh well, that's enough musing for one day, I think. Regardless of how I arrived, I am deeply glad to have joined the deliverance. I think Lucas is just a positive, straightforward guy. By the way, I think Scott just helped me figure out stuff there by saying archers don't like Olive, so they miss for him. I then suddenly went in my head, wait a second. Is it because archers are strong against Pegasus knights? But I really, really like Pegasus knights, so therefore archers are betraying me? This must be the reason. It's all because of how good Claire is. Right then, let's continue talking. Gray told me everything, Om. So you and that Celica woman were friends when you were little? That's why you seemed so close. Good then. I was starting to worry. Well, not worry. I mean, it's not my business how you two... Oh, never mind. But are you certain Celica is just a priestess? The way she carried herself was more... refined. Like how you carry yourself. Because I'm so refined, living on the farms and all. You're too late. Ain't nothing left for you in this village. We never made trouble for no one. Honored the old laws we did. But to say and them regalian brutes raided and pillaged us all the same. You're with the deliverance, ain't ya? Then think kindly on us when you give that dastard to say what's coming. Yeah, well, I'm gonna give him what's coming, but there's loads of places to visit. That's for sure. Let's go visit the square. With an extremely ornate person. You there. You're with the Deliverance, are you not? I am. Who are you? My name is Lefir. Merely a humble mage from a humble village. On this day, however, I cry your aid, for my younger sister is in trouble. What happened? First of all, you should know that my sister is named Delphia. She possesses magical potential beyond that of any in our village. One of Regal's arcanists, Tatara, caught wind of this and kidnapped her. He's using his powers to control her and make her guard the northern sluice. They plan to block the sluice until it collapses and Sophia is flooded. What? But that would be catastrophic. Indeed it would. Surely you're planning to stop them, correct? If so, I ask that you also rescue my sister. I'll even go with you if you like. If we defeat Tatara, that will release his hold on her. Okay. Defeat Tatara to save the other person. I think I get that. Come join us, Lufier. The Marge. Right, now we got Killer Cliff and Lufier to go with it. I will show, I, we should compare their stats, really, shouldn't we? We should compare their stats. Ah, good day. If you didn't know, I am a traveling merchant. My packs are heavy, but I yet have room to deliver a single item if you wish it. Just give me a name, and I'll see they receive it with all speed. Right, so I can leave an item with a merchant to give to someone like the Abba party? 
by the looks of it. Was it... Honey was needed for a quest. Was it for a Celica quest? Because I could basically give it over to Celica so she can do it. I mean, it's not like she's moved from the spot she's in. Okay. So I could do that. I'm just trying to like figure out if I've already done that quest or not. Lucia and Elthea descend from the founder of our village, so they do. She was a mage. One who was said to be the champion Sophia's finest disciple. For generations, children in their family have been born with a gift for magic. Though only those in our village and the late king knew of it. So what fool told those damned regalians? <sighs> yeah, someone got in the chat. No, I, I just can't do the old man voice now. He's disappointed. Disappointed. Well, let's rob this town of flour. Some drinking water. And nothing else by the look of things. No memories or anything. No flower in the distance. So let's move to this house one, there's Smithy, and there's house two. Hello, house people. To say men come here without pause to raid, pillage, and upend our lives. One of their more wicked knights even made off with some poor lass. And now. The Empire is trying to start a flood and put half of Zofia to ruin. <sighs> Will we never have peace? Well, you know, if I defeat all the baddies, maybe. Are you with the Deliverance? I'm afraid I have some ill news. One of the enemy soldiers mentioned a female knight they're holding captive. To say plans to put her to death soon, as an example to others. What? They intend to execute Matilda? I fear so, good sir knight. If she's dear to you, you'd best march on his fortress before it's too late. Is there an actual time limit for a quest here? Like amount of days marched or something? You don't want to randomly putting someone to death. That would suck. Alright, who's up next to talk? Hello sir, well I think there's something behind you. A memory prism. But there's always like things that the game makes you think you have to hurry on when you don't really have to at all. Soldiers of the Deliverance, I require your assistance. Gargoyles have kidnapped my daughter and taken her to the Western Shrine. If it is at all in your power, you must not let any harm befall her. I know I ask much, so if you manage to save her, my treasure is yours. What's your treasure? No one ever tells me what their treasure is. I wish you know what your treasure is. It's an interesting theme started up here. We can't steal any weaponry from the smithy. Who'd have thought? A forge burns away over in the distance. Well, let's speak to you, madame. Welcome. I thought so from a distance. Right, forge inscribe, etch a name on the finished weapon, remove a weapon's inscriptions, or trade in items with silver and gold marks, or we can also convert between silver and gold marks. Right, so I can make this weapon better? Ah, plus. And it doesn't increase its weight at all, but it does increase its power a ton! I said that required gold to get there. So I think it's only the iron stuff that can be increased. Oh no, no, the steel stuff can be increased right now. So you can all of a sudden just make someone into an absolute beast. Cool. I mean, that's two damage up. That's only three. So I could use iron bow here, and I could do the steel bow here. That would boost our archers a fair bit. It might actually see them doing a bit more damage. I mean, you don't really need any more power.
We don't really need any more, nor does Arm um, really need more power. Lucas is a fairly high strength rating. It's just Claire could be so much more useful if I get that on her as well. Alright, let's level up the, uh, the iron bows here. Describe a name, what does that cost? No, no, I'm fine with just it could being called an iron bow. I understand that it's an iron bow. So if I go on it again now, it shows it to its next level. So that's cool. So once you've got it to level 5, you can upgrade it again still. Or I could just do it now. A Volrhine bow, you can. So that would just change it probably to a steel bow. Which will add a lot of weight to it. Whereas, to be honest, I'm just up with increasing its damage right now. Alright, I can also trade in items for gear here. Huh. Think about it. So I can evolve that to like an actual shield? In fact, that seems like a different kind of shield altogether. A steel shield. So we just skipped a uh, shield generation then. Doesn't say it's defense on it. Huh. So rusted sword then, that becomes a steel sword. So technically it's best to kind of do the uh the rest of the stuff first to make it proper. Ah, that works for me. Many thanks. Many thanks. Welcome. Actually, wait a second. What can I trade in? I doesn't tell you what the uh that's a shame. Does it tell you how many marks something's worth? The two marks. Okay, so we need more marks, really, then. That's actually really good. I'll take that. Um, a moment? What is it? It's about that young man, Luthier's sister. Is it truly wise for us to get involved? An army of Arcanists awaits us. How are we to protect one village maiden? Hmm. I understand your reasoning, but... Forgive me if I am out of place. I do not mean to question your leadership. But the purpose of the deliverance is not to save one girl at a time, correct? Sometimes we must examine a situation more dispassionately. <sighs> Suppose it wasn't a village maiden. Suppose it was a princess or some noble daughter. Then would you go save her? Well... That's hardly the same thing. It's exactly the same thing. Look, I know I can't save everyone, and that I'll have to make hard choices. But those choices can't ever be based on the station of a person's birth. I thought you felt the same. I... I do. Then humor me this time, because I'm going to need your sword. <sighs> He's got a lance. You don't even know what weapon he has, how can you guys be friends? Come on. An enemy counter has appeared at the Temple of Mila. Joy. We got an award of craftsmanship, awarded for improving a weapon's power through forging. Well, we got ourselves some other stuff as well, which is great. Right, so Lawson. This is Gazelle. This is Tatala. So we have to... Basically, it wanted us to kill something here. Before we go here, I think that was. And also to say he's right here. So we kind of do want to kill him very shortly. But we'll get there. The real question is, do we want this army to move along, like, one space? So we don't have to fight to say, and the Zofian army right here? That might not be a bad idea. 